Hey guys, thanks for joining. Uh, this is the Retail Luxury Brand Club at Fuqua. Um, we have the first year cabinet here. My name is Chris Damon. I'm Kush Bugalani. And I'm Karen Zhang. Yeah, we'll just go through a brief overview of the club, some of the events that we've run through for the year, and then we'll open up for questions at the end. So I think there's a, a chat option where you can put in some questions and then we'll go through those once we're uh, done talking points. Um, so overall, as a club, the Retail Luxury Brand Club, we sit across a number of different other clubs. So um, we do a lot of cross-club events with the marketing club, uh, banking, consulting club. And our goal has been really to situate people and get them ready for roles either in retail luxury or in consulting banking where they're going to be working within the retail sector. And so a lot of the events that we had over the course of the year was focused on getting people ready for their internships, case interviews, and getting them exposure to um, retail and luxury companies. So what do you guys want to talk through Weekend Cities and uh, yeah. Cross Club stuff? Yeah, definitely. So there is this trip called Weekend Cities, um, and it's usually held in October, so it's actually held across all clubs. Um, but the one that we hosted was in New York, and we visited a number of companies, some of them being uh, Tiffany & Company, Jet.com, and ClassPass. And it's just a really awesome opportunity to uh, network. I'm sure, as you know, as you're applying to business school, like the main, the biggest thing about business school is just networking in general. So it provides students with a lot of like opportunities to get some face time, ask questions, learn about the industry. Um, and it was just a really awesome trip where we got to um, sit down with panelists, uh, ask Q&A, and just learn more about the company and get like a general tour. Um, and I mentioned this happens across all clubs, so you have opportunities to go specifically for retail or if you have some overlap with marketing. I know marketing usually does one in New York as well. Yeah, yeah, so we actually, that, that's a great part, is there's a lot of cross-club collaboration. So um, I actually attended the Marketing Week in Cities um, as well, and they had a day where we visited L'Oreal and we got to, um, you know, network with the recruiter, do a case study with them, and then also just kind of talk through what the internship opportunities are, both in marketing and finance. So um, it's cool. Like, you get to work with a lot of different clubs. It's very interactive. It's a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of different people. So, yeah. Cool. A couple other events we hosted uh, at the start of the year was partnering with Walmart on an in-store walkthrough, which is really focused on some of the store-level operations and getting a view into the different functional areas at Walmart and how they execute some of their uh, direct-to-consumer strategies with their recent acquisition of Jet.com, how they're integrating those pieces online presence and also the in-store experience. And another event that we had was partnering with the consulting club around um, Accenture's retail strategy group coming in and talking through retail trends for 2017. So they did a recap of some of the trends that they were forecasting for 2016, how that took place and how that's evolving going into 2017. And so we got a preview of right before the holidays, what they could expect in terms of what retailers are going to do with sales. And then that was our, our goal out of that event was to get people ready for some of their consulting case interviews and their ba banking interviews. So I think that's, those are our major events. And I think going into 2018, as we wrap up the school year here, we're looking to do some more of the same kind of partnerships and supporting other clubs and getting students ready for uh, case interviews and their summer internships, but also helping provide a little bit more structure and mentorship to students recruiting off campus. A lot of the luxury and retail companies are later in the spring or yeah, in the spring in terms of recruiting. And I think students get a little bit nervous not being um, having their internships locked down, like banking or consulting that take place in the fall. And so helping those students cope with what that off-campus recruiting structure looks like with some second years or people who've gone through it and helping them make those connections is what we want to play a role in in 2018. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And then something else uh, that I want to touch on briefly, and this is across all clubs, is how fast um, all the clubs ramp up and all the leadership opportunities that come at you very quickly once you're on campus. Uh, so thinking back to our timeline, as Chris mentioned, we're all in the first year cabinet. Uh, so we've now been here for six months, but I remember we started orientation in August, and then I think they were interviewing for first cabinet, first year cabinet members as early as like end of September, early October. So you pretty much just hit the ground running. So if you know you want to come in with like a leadership role, just go for it. And this this is this applies to all clubs on campus. And, yeah. Another thing to add, you know, like we mentioned, there's a lot of uh, cr across clubs, but there's also across business schools. So I know Chris had the opportunity to go to um, a conference at um, Columbia, was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool because you get to partner with other schools. And I know one of our goals is to try to do that more next year um, and just, you know, kind of ramp up our and build our brand, the like Fuqua's Retail and Luxury Club, and partner with some of those, you know, especially if they're in New York. A lot of they have a lot of companies that are coming on campus that we may not necessarily have but kind of creating that link and relationship with them so that we can, you know, start to build that 
strengthen our relationship as well. So I think that's a great opportunity as well. Yeah, definitely. And then to that point, um, we're also working on growing our community, not just in New York, but also like across the country. Um, so I know previously the club has made a weekend series trip to San Francisco, I think. Yep. So then they visited companies like Gap and Levi's. So it's just really awesome that they could, they could also yep. explore across country. I think the best thing is you really can make what you want out of the club. Um, I know that like the president, uh, one of the co-presidents for this year said, you know, for the weekend cities, if you want to do another one in the spring, you can, if mm -hmm. you feel it's appropriate. If you feel like you guys want to go to the West Coast, we can give you contacts that we have in the West Coast, or if it makes more sense to the East Coast. So there's a lot of flexibility and um, a lot of like autonomy to be able to do what you want and really um, create, you know, create an impact here. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Do you guys want to speak to like, why you're interested in the retail club, I guess? Sure, yeah. We can yeah. give a little bit of background about ourselves. Yeah, so I guess I'll start. Um, yeah. So I had worked for about four to five years before coming to business school. Uh, the first two years I actually got to work at Sephora.com and then moved into media publishing at Condé Nast. But I really missed like that retail environment. So that's the main reason why I wanted to join and be active and like uh, give my expertise, but also like continue to learn more about the, the industry. Cool. Uh, so I came from a background in consulting, and one of the reasons I wanted to go in retail and luxury was because I felt like I was missing that business to consumer brand and getting exposure to the consumer. And I feel like if you have a really good retail experience and you have a favorite article of clothing, every time you put that on, you feel really good. And to be able to influence customers to be <laughs> just positive about their day-to-day -day interactions through a retail experience is something that I want to be involved in. Yeah, and so I actually come from healthcare. I, I did healthcare consulting prior to Fuqua, um, but I've always been really passionate about retail and just understanding the brands and how, you know, the, the strategy behind um, how they incorporate new products. And especially, you know, during this dynamic shift when there is from retail or brick and mortar to e-commerce, I really wanted to try to transition and pivot into a role there. So that's why I'm here. Yeah, so lots of opportunities in the retail club, whether it's just an interest, it's like previous experience or, you know, future experience. <laughs> Aspirations. Yeah. Future aspirations. aspirations yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then if there aren't any questions. Yeah, we're open to questions if you guys have any. We'll give it like a minute. Yeah, we can give it a couple yeah. minutes. <laughs> you covered everything. Yeah. Yeah, Chris is actually, I don't know if you introduced yourself, but he's the new co president for yeah. the I'll, I'll so. be one half of the, yeah. the presidential cabinet yeah, sure. for next year. So looking forward to having whoever uh, is on the call join. and You'll be seeing a lot of him. We'll be doing some recruiting for cabinet positions in the fall. So if you have any ideas and thoughts, more than happy to meet and go through those. Yeah. yeah. No questions? No questions? Yeah. All right. I think... Um, if you have any questions, I think admissions will probably filter any that you may have. So feel free to reach out to admissions. I'm looking forward to seeing some of you guys here in the fall and hope that was uh, an informative session. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. 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 Good luck.